Hey, I'm TJ with ShopBot Tools, and uh, next thing we're going to show you how to do is zero your X and Y axes on a ShopBot desktop. So we need to find the zero, zero location and have this correspond with the zero, zero location of your drawing file. So in the ShopBot software, there is a zeroing routine that's already built in. So when we're zeroing this, we just have to click on it, and the machine itself will come over here, find its zero location, and it uses these proximity switches, one in the X and one in the Y. And these are an electrical switch. When the ShopBot moves over there, it records that location, makes and breaks a circuit, and says, hey, this is where zero is going to be, tells our machine this. It finds it zero, zero. And now I'm able to take my board or my drawing, where I know my zero is, and place it on with the corresponding machine, zero, zero. So. All right, to do this, uh, I'm just going to verify right now that I've got nothing in the way. There's no uh, wrenches or uh, clamps or anything that this is going to get in the way as the machine starts to move. And from ShopBot Easy, I just come down and find the X and the Y icon, and I'm going to click on this. The machine's going to make a noise. It's about to come in motion. And like I said, it's going to come over here and tag these proximity switches, records its location, does it a second time to verify? Now it's going to come up and do it in the Y. So, so notice now it brings up a screen saying that the zero is in the X and the Y position. We are at zero, zero in the Y, and uh, the corner of our table is now zero with the spindle and with our software. All right, with ShopBot Easy Mode, we're able to come over here to the X, Y icon, and with one click, it'll start the homing of the X and Y with the proximity switches. Notice it comes over, records a setting, backs off, and records it again. Now it has found it's zero in the X. The machine is now zeroed in the X, and it's gonna come forward to this proximity switch, record its location, back off, come back and touch it once more and now save that location. So now we've zeroed both the X and the Y using the proximity switches. So our X and Y have been zeroed out. The tool is now zeroed in the X and the Y axis. So okay. So there could be times where you're just moving your machine along and you crash it. So at this point we haven't damaged anything, but what we have done is we've lost our X and our Y location. So our X and Y zeroing is no longer true to this front point. So easy fix here. All I have to do is rerun that X and Y routine by clicking on the icon. And now the machine with the proximity switches will find its zero, zero location and you're back in business.